Oh, how cool is that, guys? Some of the biggest names in Hollywood have helped to raise millions of dollars for COVID relief through a virtual fundraising platform called RW Quarantunes. The genius behind it is right here. This father-daughter duo, Richard and Demi White. Nice to meet you. Hi, so nice to meet you. Okay, where do we begin? How did all of this start? This started as a fluke. It was just the right timing, the beginning of quarantine. It was my 17th birthday, and my dad wanted to help out a piano player in Chicago, just raise some money for him. So he got my friends on a Zoom for my birthday, and it was one of the most awkward experiences of my <laughs> whole entire life. It's very ironic that I'm like, oh, I like hosting a birthday party was so weird on Zoom, and now like we're just hosts on Zoom. But um, it started like that, and I said, Dad, I love this, but can we turn it off? And he's like, well, I'm paying Dario, so let's get some of my friends on there. And do you want to finish off the story? Yeah, so I said, I'll call my college roommates, my friends from high school, all a bunch of colleagues. And then I called three times my friend Debbie Gibson. <laughs> and I said, she's like, what's the matter? What's the matter? I go, get up, get up, get up. We're, we're, we're having this piano player play a song. Come, come on, come on, sing a little. I go, where's your piano? She goes, I just woke up. So she gets on the piano, she starts playing. Ten minutes later, our other friend Melvin says, I have a surprise for you. John Mayer appears on the scene. What? <laughs> this is not a normal 17th birthday, no. so um, I'm so happy my friends aren't on because I'm listening to John Mayer in his house just talk to Debbie Gibson with my dad's friends, and I was like, this is the greatest birthday, and it's all to myself. Um, just people talking and trying to lift up spirits. So then we started doing more of these Zooms because my dad is like an extreme extrovert. He cannot sit still. He has to go to a concert. He has to go to a basketball game. He will do anything but stay home with his children. But with the Zoom, what I found was it was yeah. the access, that intimate access that you allowed us in. So what happened yeah. next? It was like two weeks into COVID and I turned to my dad and was like, we have this amazing platform. People are wanting to come on. We're getting artists. Let's raise money. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. We're going to raise $10,000 for the Saban Community Clinic. My dad's like, how is that going to work? I said, I'm just going to tell people to donate. And my dad was like, you got to push for $30,000. I was like, that's, that's the agent. I was like, that is a lot of money. <laughs> we are not going to get there. Like, there's no possible way. And the end of the call, we raised $38,000, yeah. which is great. And to date, how much have you raised? $26.4 million. <laughs> Like, really think of how awesome. So I'm thinking about yeah. how this thing has, has skyrocketed. But I'm thinking, you were talking about working all the time. What about this sort of new relationship with your daughter who's about to go to college? What has this been like? Well, it's not very sad because <laughs> I think the gift of the pandemic for us was our relationship. And I think our family's relationship of actually being home for 15 months. Yeah. Um, you know, these quarantines just took a life of their own because we would talk about, one, what organizations would we like, like to do? Strategy, yeah. The strategy was, really, who do we know and who should we help? And so we started by just saying, let's help some hospitals, mm -hmm. right? And Demi really came up with Baby to Baby, Cedar sinai which I'm involved with, but we wanted to help COVID, COVID-related. I think once we started getting into that, who should, we, who should we talk to? What artist should we talk to? And I've had a long relationship with Clive Davis, who Demi absolutely has a relationship with now. And so all of the relationships yeah. that we started to make or, um, or continue our, our path, Demi was so involved that that really helped cement our day-to-day. -day. It was yeah. every call we were on in between the Zooms of her school because she never went back to school. And yep. I think you just get to learn your child. And if you look at the beginning of the video to, to the today yeah. at 18 years old, it really is what a beautiful young lady and amazing girl she <laughs> you is. You really are. And that's what's great. And Demi, you're about to fly, but looking back and reflecting, what does this mean to have bonded with your dad sort of on this level? Well, I would do anything to be close to my dad, and that's kind of how this started for me. I'd watch all of the Zooms. I would do puzzles with him. I was connected to his hip at the beginning of the pandemic because I just wanted to hang out and be close with my dad. We've always had like a very solid foundation, but this is an experience that no one can ever take away from us. And we're so much stronger now that we've worked together. It has not always been easy, but it's been really cool for people to admire our relationship and say, you guys helped us get through COVID. Your positive energy, your banter together, the way you, the love you guys have for each other. Like that's really special for me that it just would bleed through the screen. And that's why people wanted to watch. Cause yeah, they're a cool artist, but 
we weren't trying to be something that we're not. It was just so authentic, like us laughing and poking jokes. What's next for quarantines? Um, well, for quarantines, we actually have one on September 30th. Yep. We said that our Juneteenth Zoom for the NAACP was the final one, but... Then you Elton John did, and you said, and one more. Yeah, but everyone knows when we say we're done, I we're not actually done. Anyway. It's the finale in quotes when we sent out the email. So. We want to keep doing this. We want to keep giving back. We've made so many amazing relationships with so many awesome organizations that, for me in my life, whether it takes shape in the form of virtual concerts with my dad or just maybe running my own organization or just getting involved with others, the work won't stop. When you have Clive Davis calling Barry Manilow, Barry Gibb, <laughs> Elvis Costello. Every Barry on the planet. And then we got her, John Legend, Josh Groban. I mean, Lindsey Buckingham, it was, it was insane. It's crazy. I love it all, mostly for your two relationship, but for all the great money that you raised. You. Very nice to meet you, Richard. You Guys, too. keep your eye on this young lady right here. Demi White is going places. For more information, go to the RW Quarantunes Instagram page for all the information. Great meeting you.